Hey guys, Lou here. Uh, you want to get a CGC 9.9 .9 or even a 10 in your collection? Stay tuned. Okay, we all want to get that 9.8 on our books. Let's be honest. That's the goal. Pressing, cleaning, grading. And when it comes in and we get that 9.8, I don't know that feeling too often. Um, it feels like it was all worth it. No better feeling than having that 9.8. Or is there? What about the 9.9? .9? And forget the 10.0. But is it possible? Yes. If you get a metal cover and the back cover is glued on correctly and there are no scratches, you might eke out that 9.9. .9. Or if a comic has never touched human hands and has no noticeable defects or any defects, even under magnification, you may actually get that 10.0. We see examples of this in modern books or books straight out of the distributor's box, but it's still kind of rare. So, other than buying a 9.9 .9 or a 10, is it possible to get one on your own? I'm telling you it is. You just have to find the books that more easily qualify. Now, you can buy a whole bunch of metal or acetate books, but like I found out, there's no guarantee that metal books will get anything more than a 9.8. .8. I submitted two, I opened them up in front of you guys, 9.8. Kind of pissed off about that, but <clears throat> what can you do? Okay, let's switch gears for a second. I'm sure some of you, if not all of you, have heard of the Aurora Model Manufacturing Company. Aurora was at its height of popularity in the late 1960s up until the mid-70s. They created the models of the most iconic characters in movie, TV, and superhero history. Aurora created these great models of Batman, Robin, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, the Hulk, Captain America, Superman, Tarzan, the Lone Ranger, Tonto, Penguin, even the Batplane and the Batmobile. Those first issue models will cost you a pretty penny if you decide to collect them, but I think they're worth it just for the box art alone. Anyway, here's the point. Aurora reissued most of these models under the title Aurora Comic Seeds. The molds were absolutely the same, but the box art changed to more of a comic book look. And the biggest change, every model came with a comic book. Now, if your box was not dented, or if the model didn't shift terribly in the box, you could pull out a pristine comic book. These comics weren't standard. They had eight pages and were printed on a thin cardstock, but it made them very durable. These are the types of books that can get you those impossible grades. At a sale years ago, it was an auction house that was running a sale. My girlfriend spotted these books in sets. I'm guessing they were never put into models, probably new old stock of some kind. I bought the two sets for 75 bucks, basically a little less than $4 each. I had one set graded, Mind you, no pressing, no cleaning, just sent right in. And I sold the other set. These are the grades I got along with the census data, just to give you an idea. So for Batman, I got a 9.6. Now this is no pressing, no cleaning, right? With only 16 higher and a total graded copy, uh, uh, a total of 28 total graded copies. For Tarzan, I also got a 9.6 with 16 higher and 30 total graded copies. Now it starts to go up. For Tonto, I got a 9.8 with only two higher and a total count of only 24 graded books. For Spider-Man, I also got a 9.8. It's an amazing model too, by the way. With only one graded higher, which happens to be a 10.0. For Superboy, I also got a 9.8, but this one was a little bit different. There are seven higher, but the total grade count is 134. There are 134 of these graded, and only one graded higher than mine, and other 9.8s that are on the census. This has to be due to the fact that this was just a badass model that had uh, crypto and a dragon in a cave. It just didn't make sense, but it was so cool. For Superman, I got a 9.8 with 19 higher and a total graded count of 99. But here's where it gets fun. 
For the Lone Ranger, I have a 9.9 .9 with only one higher and total grade count of 21. For Robin, drum roll, I got a 10.0, highest graded, with a total count of 123. For Captain America, I got a 10.0, highest graded, with a total count of 124. And last, but certainly not least, for Hulk, I received the highest grade of 10.0, not only the highest grade, but the only one graded a 10.0. Next highest is actually a 9.8, with a total count of 78 graded books. So what's the point? If you're looking for those prestigious grades, maybe look at books that aren't so prestigious. Check auction sites and eBay listings for old store stock, promotional comics, promo comics, grail issue reprints, and look for these Aurora books while you're at it. They, they do sell them in sets on eBay. These types of books can be found in unused condition, in some cases never having been touched by human hands. Maybe you won't have to lay out the big bucks for those top tier grades. Try it out. Let me know how you do. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any of these Aurora comic scenes graded, I'd love to know about it because I don't know anybody that's ever had these personally. And if they have, they're, they're really messed up from the from the uh, from being in the model, you know. And again, if you buy the model sealed, you're going to have that comic book in there. But you're better off trying to buy the old store stock to get those high grades. Um, so drop a comment below, like the video, and subscribe. More fun stuff on the way. We have an unboxing coming on Friday. Um, the last of my Teflon debacle comics. And if you get a chance, follow me on whatnot um, at country underscore club underscore comics. Use the promo code below and get $10 off your first whatnot purchase. Um, we have some great Silver Age sales coming up, including uh, Independence, Charlton Gold Key Dell, uh, Marvel, DC is following week. And then we have a Batman det detective sale coming up. So a lot of fun stuff. Uh, what not just a fun place to be. So uh, that's it. Okay, we also have a slab mystery box sale if you're interested. But until next time, treasure hunters, this is Lou saying ciao. Hey everyone, it's Lou from Country Club Comics. Just wanted to remind you about a sale we have this Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time of non-Marvel, non-DC, Silver Age comics. We have Dells, we have Gold Keys, we have Archies, we have Disney, we have Westerns, we have some sci-fi left, we have some horror, kind of like, you know, Twilight Zone, Outer Limits, things like that. We have interesting books here. We have uh, Fantasy, we have Tarzan, we have Korak. We have just a whole bunch of books. Let me show you some more. Got some Classics Illustrated here, Classics Illustrated Junior. We got some Harvey. Got more Dells over there. We got Cool Land of the Giants book. We have Thunder Agents, John Carter, Harvey's. Here's some Harvey's. More gold keys. And don't forget, in our Buy It Now, we're going to have some amazing stocking stuffers. And those stocking stuffers, look over here. Awesome, awesome stuff. So you want some items, $4, $5, $6, cute little items to put into the stocking, brand new, unused, pop them right in, this is the place to be. So again, if you get a chance, stop by Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is uh, Lou again from Country Club Comics. We hope to see you there. And if you get a chance, just check me out on YouTube at Country Club Comics. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, have a good one. Hope to see you on Saturday at 4. See you then.